Hey everybody, Ms. Dietrich here. We're taking a look at a question from the review assignment number eight. The table below lists four masses and their corresponding approximate weights on Earth. Here's the table. The ratio of weight to mass is constant. Which statement describes the ratio of weight to mass and the value of x in the table? All right, so the first thing we have to pay attention to is they're talking about a weight to mass ratio. So that means we the numbers are backwards here. The weight is on this side of the table. The mass is over here. So if we just take this first value in here, which is 196 for the weight and 20 for the mass, we're basically trying to figure out is it a 98 to 10 ratio or is it a 10 to 98? So let's say we're going to explore the 98 to 10 ratio first. One way we can do this is to just simply check the cross products and see if they're equal. If we do the cross products, we would do this times this, which we should be able to do that in our head. It's 196 with the 0 after it. And then if we do the other cross product of 20 times 98, let's see if we get this. 20 times 98 equals. All right, so we have a match. So that means we might reject the, uh, the 10 over 98 one because 20 times 10 would be 200, and this would certainly not equal 200. So we know that we can eliminate the, um, the ones that don't have a 98 to 10 ratio. So this one's off the list, and that one's off the list. So now we just have to figure out whether the value for x is 90 or is it 110. So we're basically going to take our ratio here. We could even use the more simplified version, which we said was a 98 to 10. We can slip that right here and use that. Or we could use the green ratio. It really doesn't matter. And we'll just go ahead and solve for x. Now, once again, we can use cross products. If we do this times this, that would equal 1,000. 78, and then we would just put the 0 on it, making it 10,780, equals, and then we would do this cross product, 98x, 98 times x. All right, so if we solve this, what's the coefficient? Well, it's right here. It's 98. We're going to divide both sides of the equation by the coefficient. All right, this will cancel out. We'll bring down the x. And the only thing left you have to do is to just simplify this right here, and you'll have your answer. Take this number and divide it by this number. Good luck finishing that up.